Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spongy Channel. So it's been a while since I've done a theory, and all of my theories have been about Spongebob, so I think it's about time we do a theory that's not about Spongebob. I was watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the other night, and thought to myself that I should make a theory about this movie. It took me a few days to think about what I'm gonna do for this theory, and I came up with tons of evidence. And I'm getting ready to tell you, this was a really, I mean really, complicated theory for me to make. So, Willy Wonka says he will give the chocolate factory to Charlie because he wanted the least rotten child to get the factory. Because when he dies, he wants someone to carry on his legacy. But, I have a question for you guys. If Wonka wanted someone to carry on his legacy when he dies, why does he not care about people getting hurt in his factory? As you can see in this movie, these people could have been killed. But still, even though it didn't kill them, those parents could have sued, and Wonka would have been forced to shut down his factory without handing it over to anyone. So, if he wanted to hand down the chocolate factory to someone else, he would have done better to not kill anyone. So, this could mean that Wonka was just done with the chocolate business overall. He may have just got tired of what he was doing and wanted to move on to something else. Which, this could possibly mean he was just tired of everything and wanted to retire. I mean, I'm sure he's got the money after the success of his Wonka bars. I'm sure those made him a lot of money. Okay, yeah. All this I'm saying could be possible. Let's move on. The biggest piece of evidence I found to support this theory may be in the full course meal gum scene. Okay, so how would this turn you into a blueberry? If you go to the store and get the stuff to make gum, and all the other weird gum ingredients that was in that, that just can't turn you into a blueberry. That's literally impossible. You would have to be doing this on purpose. Now, he could made a potion or something to turn you into a blueberry. No one really knows about that. But all I do know is this would have to be on purpose. Like, stuff from the store just can't turn you into a blueberry. And this just tells you how smart Wonka really is, if this is true. The reason he done this was because he wanted to make sure he got this factory shut down. So, the easy way to explain this is he had all these traps set up because if someone did not accept the invitation to get the factory or whatever, like, own the factory... Because probably most people would not want that, even though it is free, but later on you would have to pay a lot of bills. So we had that as kind of like a just-in-case kind of thing. So they probably would not have the money to pay because it's such a gigantic factory. The whole reason he set up those golden tickets was so he could set up these traps for these people to get hurt in. Well, his plan failed. He didn't get sued from these dangerous traps he set up to get out of the chocolate business. And you probably asked me, why don't he just hand down the factory to some random person he sees on the street? Why didn't he just do that before? Like, why he didn't have to go through the trouble of getting all these traps set up and those golden tickets set up. Well, the most likely reason, they probably just didn't want to pay the bills. Like, you probably tried that, but they just didn't want to pay the bills. So, yeah. Probably most people don't have enough money to pay for those bills. So, yeah. Now that his plan failed, there was only one child left. Charlie. The one that definitely wouldn't have enough money to pay for this. Which, if he did, I doubt he would want to pay for the bills for this, or his family, or whatever. Whoever pays for it. Probably his family. Okay, 
So, he what he wants to do is shut down the whole business, not the factory. But of course, if he wants to shut down the business, the factory would have to go with it. You may be thinking if he lives there, then once it shut down, he would most likely just buy a house. Since he shut down the business, and he's not getting any more money from the chocolate bars. So, if he lives there after he shut down the factory, then he would end up going bankrupt, considering it's such a big place. So, my recommended option for him would be to just buy a house instead of doing this, which that would be what he'd most likely do, I bet. So, like I said, the reason he wanted to get rid of the factory was because he was just tired of this chocolate job. And he's just done with everything, pretty much. Also, he had an excuse of saying he wanted somebody to run the factory so he has somebody to carry on his legacy when he dies. But he didn't want to tell anyone that he was just tired of everything and just wanted to quit after all the success of this company. He would have been embarrassed to say that he was just gonna quit and he wanted to quit. Like, I would be embarrassed too, not gonna lie. Okay, so this scene with Wonka sitting down at the table in Charlie's house. Well, it looks like his plan pretty much worked. When you zoom out of the house, you see there's no lights on anymore in the factory. So that probably means he's got rid of all that stuff and now he's just retired and living a normal life. Now, this is just a theory. He may be still running the factory. Like, he may still be running the factory and stuff. Um, so he can have their house in there. But I doubt he's doing the chocolate business anymore. Because when he's at the table... He don't act like he's doing the chocolate business anymore. He acts normal. Now, my only question is that, will Wonka become less weird now that he has a family and not just those stupid Oompa Loompas? The Oompa Loompas ruin his brain and cause him to pretty much go crazy. Now, there is still going to be some Oompa Loompas at the factory, as you can see at the end when he when that Oompa Loompa was narrating or whatever. Yeah, he was narrating. And I'm sure there's some other ones going to still be there at the factory. But now that he has a family, he's probably not going to pay attention to those Oompa Loompas. Okay, when he was at the table, that was really the first time he was not treated like trash. Also, when he's at the table, he seems to have changed quite a bit from being really weird to actually being a normal person. So this theory just proves that Wonka is much happier without this chocolate business or chocolate factory. Also, he's probably going to move out of the factory and buy a new house or something. Because he probably cannot pay all these bills for this factory. And like I said, he probably shut it down. But soon, he's probably just going to buy a house so he can move out of this factory. So, after me explaining all this, we now figure out that Wonka just wanted to give up the candy business overall. He didn't care if he had anybody to keep his legacy alive when he dies. So, he set up the golden tickets just so he could have these kids get into these traps so he could get sued and lose the factory. So, that failed, and he decided to give it to someone and the only one left was Charlie, so he thought that this may be his chance to get rid of this factory. And it turns out that everything worked out for Wonka. This theory just proves Wonka is an evil brat. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, and it took me a few days to come up with the idea for this theory. What I was going to do and stuff for this theory, so yeah. This theory was very hard to cover. I would be appreciated if you gave me a like, subscribe, and comment. You don't got to do that, though, but I'd really appreciate it after all the hard work I've done. So, I've covered many theories, and this is my only one that's not Spongebob. I'm planning on doing some other theories, maybe about Shrek or some other movies. I don't know. I'll just have to watch the movies again and write the scripts and stuff, and then, th then I'll be done with the theories. Um, so, yeah... I was actually wanting to do some theories months ago, but 
I just couldn't think of anything. And now that I finally watched this movie again, I thought of some theories, some good theories. So yeah, I've been your host, The Spongy Channel. Thanks for watching.